Hello guys. First look at WK's Racing GP. These are your GP jobs. 2T, um, I'm quite surprised at that. The young lad just traded it in on the Airbox, funny enough. Um, he'd been to a garage and I've just seen the receipt. And the kickstart, um, he paid £100 and they redid the kickstart for him. And let me show you this, guys. This is a garage. I mean, come on. That was fitted on the 16th. Today's, what, 20th? I mean, that's just a tiny bit of oil may have really gone amiss there. That's bone dry. And they just fitted that for him. The spring's not even catching. Look at that. Do you know? I mean, that's just <sighs> cheap, isn't it? You know, £100 for that. And they also charged him November a couple of hundred pounds as well. It wouldn't run. Um, Sip bucket is only a couple of screws to get out. Uh, on closer inspection, let me get there. I'll show you in a second, guys. Um, the same sort of variator system as the Aerox, not the speed fire. So you can have the side off. Um, I don't know who done it, but where the carburetor is, you've got the pin that goes in the needle. That was round the other way. So when I started it, it just revved the nuts off it. Probably quite scary and dangerous, this little lad that had it. Um, I've just took it out and put it back in again properly. And now... That don't really sound good, does it? First listen to that, you think that the uh, piston was completely gone, but I'm assuming it could be because it's open here. Um, yeah, not a lot of money, about £1,200 new. WK normally don't do too bad things, but the same thing goes on these bikes. Whether it's 125 or the 50cc proper bikes of the WK is the immobiliser um, CDR unit, um, which has gone on this one. I don't think it's a mobilised one, since it's a CDR on this one. Um, but it's gone, so let me show you around the bike. Obviously, it's been down the road, 2011. Um, not a bad looking front to it, I guess. Chunky tyre. Um, big old battery, you know, speed fight battery. You can see the comparison there, big old battery. Um, dash looks quite pretty, if I'm really honest with you. You know, turn it on, and uh, it does the same as the old Kawasaki's R4. I might have a look what that says actually. Anyway, here we go. CDI, okay, that goes on all the bikes of these ones. It really does. So, yeah. And it's the garage. What's, what's, what's all this? You know, why have you cut wires and added ones in? There's the carb. I'm going to get that and give it a good clean. It is 2T. I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting that. Right, here we go. Look, if you look at the uh, same sort of variator system as the Aerox. Remember, make as long as that's really, really tight. That was good. Really tight. And then you can spin this round. And... Yeah, I don't know whether that's because of... Um, I've got the panel off. But in that tacky, though, hey? What's that about? I'll have to try and refit that. Maybe a bit of oil in it, I guess. Although it does electric start. The boy said that the reason why I wanted the kick start was it wasn't starting. So you wonder why the garages didn't just give it a service. Said it had it cleaned. But, uh... Yeah, I'm not so sure. Stick a bomb! Anyway, let's get on with this and uh, have another go of it afterwards. First inspection. Carburetor is not an awful lot different than an Airbox's one. You know, pretty standard. Um, again, he told me that, you know, it had it serviced. Did you guys spot the problem? You know, look at that. The gasket. This garage did this. I mean, what, they got a Saturday boy or something? Hmm, no happy. Anyway, let's give this a clean and uh, clean all that out. I mean, again, there's, there's dirt in the bottom there. This is supposed to be um, all done by a garage. Right, let's give that a good old clean and uh, carry on, shall we? But yeah, I must admit, they've uh, pretty much copied it. Same talking as an airbox as well. Um, reasonably quality, so let's give that a wash as well and keep going. Remember, top tips in my videos. When connecting the carburetor back to the air filter, do it that way, okay? Don't do it on the bike, it's really, really hard like the airboxes is, so already connect it and then slot it in. But does anyone else think that having one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine screws to hold the airbox together is a little bit overkill. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> yeah, nine of them. That's quite a lot of screws, isn't it? Right, let's get on with it. Anyway, carburetor clean, as you can see. That's nice and clean now. I don't just mean the outside, I mean the inside as well. Um, and let's put back with the gasket properly. Let's have a look what the effort was like. Well, guys, I always give top tips in my videos. My top tip today will be don't buy this bike. Okay, <laughs> that's all I can say. It has only 3,800 miles on the clock. And I know you can't tell what the last owner did. Two owners. Whether we run it completely dry or not, I don't know. But, yes it runs. Oh, I don't know whether you can hear that over the microphone. That is crank engine bearings something seriously upped up in that engine. It actually rides. Um, I took it up and down the road with holding my ears. You know, it's horrid. 2T, I reckon someone's forgot to put oil in it or what, I don't know. But anyway, my top tip, don't fucking buy one. Um, now, I, I'm being horrible, really. It's not a bad looking bike. It's just for me, it's not even worth ripping this apart. It's not like a speed fight where I've got parts. Everything would have to be new. I have to break it all down, and for what? A 300 pound bike? Just not worth it. So, parts. Anyway guys, please, hope you enjoyed that. Check out my videos please guys, on the links around here, on other beds and so on. Um, and yeah, no, leave these alone for the time being. Right guys, catch you later.